Hey, YouTube, Dan Otto here, coming at you with my last Great League team for this round. Um, and so I started with the tryhard team with Azu, Sableye, and Ninetales. And then I wanted to try, because I'm doing factions, I tried uh, a Sand Slash, and I tried a couple others that I wanted to use in my faction team, and nothing was working, because everything I've seen in the Open Great League was very meta. Like, just exactly what I said before, Registeels, uh, Trevenant, stuff like that. So what I did was I started with Sableye again because Sableye is just, what I found playing with it the first time is that if you use Sableye, you're, as long as you, unless you get hit with a, just a full Charmer, you're fine. Like even in bad matchups, you can like, the Shadow Claw is such a quick move. You get to the return, good chip damage there against Darks, even if you can't throw a foul play. In other situations, you're doing a ton of chip damage. So I started with Sableye, I'm like, you know what, let's just put it on the lead because like, again, outside of a Charmer, I can just, staying with anything and then i was like okay um you know, if i'm gonna get beat by darks and stuff like that like i probably do need to put in a counter user but i didn't want to put in i try, i didn't want to put in like you couldn't put in metacham because it's already too weak to like you're already weak to to bury there so i was like all right deox is my bulkiest counter user so i put that there and like am i really gonna go with wall rain and then like yeah i'm gonna go with one <laughs> so so i was just like super meta team and I did well with it. And it was after I had done poorly with my other ones. So that's why I used it. It worked again. So why, if you have watched any of the regionals, like a lot of people have to bring six Pokemon, right? And two Pokemon that are on every single teams are Walrains and Sableyes, just because they are just absolute beasts in the Great League. So might as well just use them if they're everywhere. In those regionals, a lot of the teams had like Deox or Metacham, a lot had Trevenant, a lot, some that people are realizing Ninetales as counters to these things. Uh, so it was very, a very fixed meta, and I'm finding the Open Great League is a very fixed meta, so that's why I use this team. So let's see how it performs. Sableye against Beedrill. Again, you're, so you're resisting the uh, poison here. You get to foul plays pretty quickly. It could be a drill run, uh, but I just let it go. It's just a fell stinger. So they're bumping up their attack, but that doesn't bother me because it's resisted poison moves, so that's fine. So we're going to get a foul play off here, which probably can probably case those, but they shield anyways. Up comes a Polyrath. So I'm already almost out of returns. So I'm like, eh, I might as, well, might as well just throw it because I don't really have an amazing answer for Polyrath because if it has like dynamic punch, I'm in trouble with my wall rain. So they end up throwing, I'm like, okay, I can now just uh, Shadow Claw down and come out with energy. So come out with energy. Sableye, again, it's just such a beast. The Shadow Claw is such a fast charging move. Foul plays hurt. Beedrill, unless again, unless they throw the drill right here. And if they do, that's fine. I can just come wall rain. Just a fell stinger, so not gonna take me out. This probably will take them out unless they shield. So they do not. So goodbye. Sableye's put on a clinic here. Out comes the stun fisk. Can I get to a move? I can. <laughs> I got that extra XL there. So Again, this is Sableye just basically sweeping the shield. Once they shield, I know I can come in here because I can take one move for sure because Wallring is just so, so tanky. And they don't even throw the discharge. They try and bait me first, but I'm like, I've got a DX in the back that can just counter you down and not worry about that. So I wasn't going to shield anyways. Plus I can live one. So get it out there. Now they're going to throw a discharge, which is fine. And take me out because DX can just counter down for the win. Doesn't even take me out. Oh, I'm not even going to have to show my Deox here. Wow. And that's why I'm only right now using, unless Ninetales, because Ninetales isn't super bulky. And I like Shadow Swamper too, and that's pretty glossy. But for the most part, um, I'm just going to run tankier Pokemon in the Great League. Just because, like I said, uh, bulk is better, almost always. And you, you kind of saw it there. Like, even in bad situations, I can just let the move go. Uh, don't have to burn shields easy with this team like all three are pretty like stable is not tanky but it's an xl so it has its advantages and i'll shield up because Lorraine's tanky and deox is tanky so i don't need to worry about them so much so that's where i do oh my opponent got the brutal egg there um so if for those of you who've seen there's supposed to be an update coming that deals with a couple of the bugs fast move Sneak and denial, stuff like that. I had a couple of the bugs. I had just like the general leg there. I had the 
your opponent like switches but it doesn't show switch so like my opponent threw a move and then threw another move and i'm like that's way too fast for a move and it was the they had switched in and threw hydro cannon from their swampert but the swampert did not show up had that bug so the bugs are still there but um leg is still there it's it hasn't been like terrible terrible yet and even in this matchup right i'm gonna get hit with the with the seed bomb but i'm too tanky so it does not matter uh yeah the, the bugs have not been terrible 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 yet to start um just kind of normal terrible <laughs> if that's how i can describe it i maybe should have thrown an ice cold spear there and it was resisted but it probably would have put it within one thunderbolt range it won't matter because they just dumped energy. I'm going to get a Thunderbolt and then a Psycho Boost will take it out. Uh, those of you who always ask, what's better, Rock Slide or Thunderbolt on Deox? And it really depends on, I think, team comp and what you want to use your Deox for. Uh, so this is what I was saying about bad matchups where you're still like okay on the lead, right? Shadow Clouds are doing resisted, but still chipping. He's got to throw Foul Play, still doesn't take me out. And I can throw a return. So I'm going to either grab a shield or do a ton of chip damage. Right? So that's kind of like why I like Sableye. So I got a shield advantage now. That's fine. They're probably going to take me out here. Um, unless they throw Power Punch to try and beat me. If I remember one, yeah, I remember one tried to do it. That's not going to do it. Can I get to the return? I can. So now they're going to have to use a second shield. Or I'm going to put them probably very, very low. Take them out. So they do shield. So the bad news is I don't have like an immediate answer to this. This could be a foul play too, so I got to shield it up. Um, and I was like, okay, let's just counter. I remember this because I was like, let's just counter down. And they do get to another foul play right before I counter them out. So I got to shield this up because that is a foul play. So double shield there. So they did take a pretty good advantage there. And then they come in with Nita Queen. So I, I can throw this. Let's do super effective. Now I can come in here. And out comes a Greedent. And talk about a spammy matchup here. Greedent against Powder Snow, Icicle Spear, Walrine. Both pretty tanky. So we're just exchanging. But we're both, yeah, pretty tanky. And these moves don't hit super, super hard. So we're, it's going to take probably three of each. So it's now just going to be who out tanks who here. Plus I have a Psycho Boost ready, so it's fine. Uh, so Rock Side or Thunderbolt? Uh, depends what you want to use the, the team. I'm using Thunderbolt for coverage on... Um, Azu, and I'm using it for to have something to throw at Registeel because both Psycho Boost and Rock Slide would have been re resisted. So I want something to throw, even do just okay chip damage there. Why you Rock Slide is uh, for matchups like Altaria, like having a move there is better. It's just a quicker move two right it's i think two lower than a two one or two fast moves lower than thunderbolt so it's just a quicker spam your move so red just on the lead here and this is okay like i'm gonna get hit with the zap cannon zap cannon is so annoying they, I, I i'm thinking the move update they're gonna fix it because first of all look at that and then they always potentially lower your attack and i feel like i get hit with the attack drop constantly so i'm just gonna chip there because it still is a lot uh, I could take one foul play. This could be, again, I can survive a return anyway, so I'll probably just let this go. It is just a foul play, but I will not survive a second foul play. That's why I like Sableye, right? Even against wall range, you can just two, two uh, foul plays will take it out. Problem is, I'm not going to be able to. Oh, I do counter down. That's good. The right is still probably going to come back in, though. Unless, what do they have in the back? A9. Right, so this is where my team is a little... And A9 is a perfect example why, if you're going to run this team, running Rock Slide may be better. Because here, exactly here. A9, double shielded, Charmer. So I have to throw Thunderbolt because I can't lower my... Well, actually, I could. What I could do and what I may do, actually, is just counter, throw the Psycho Boost, reset. Or I can do... Okay, throw the Thunder... I'm going to maybe have to do that to try and win this matchup. This is looking pretty rough, though. See, a rock side would have been way better. I'm hoping I can counter down here. I need to counter down. Perfect. Throw the Psycho Boost. Reset on my Sableye. Counter 
and get a psycho boost off and they let it go and i catch on this oh i caught on the same way so kind of lucky i was just doing that to reset and now because he let it go i can just counter down so i managed to work around that pretty well there overall so metacham lead good lead here i've not seen as many meta champs like tongue comes in so i throw a foul playoff because this is a problem with running deox um I maybe should have come in with uh, Wall Rain. My opponent, was very, I remember this punch because my opponent was pretty smart here. Maybe I was pretty dumb because I was like, okay, Counter doing super effective, but their licks are also doing super effective. I have a Sableye, which is good against Metachamp. Like Deox would have been good against Metachamp too. Metachamp wouldn't have had really anything to throw at me. But now they shield and they're fighting for Switch. So I'm going to shield back because I know I can get a Psycho Boost off and grab that last shield because I know they're going to try and fight for Switch because they can't have their Metacham, um, my Sable and their Metacham. So they just took that. And like if you have your Metacham in the back, you may have a counter to Sableye in the back. So I'm going to come in Wall Ring, get a head on energy, knowing the Metacham's going to come back in, right? So immediately switch, like, let me see what you have in the back. So they have a, this, which is not terrible, but it's not good because the rock side is super effective on the wall rain it's gonna take three foul plays to take this out uh an earthquake would take me out i think they bait me if i remember this yeah so now they're gonna be able to get the earthquake and then it's just a counter user that i'm gonna need to get multiple icicle spears off and it's not gonna i'm not gonna have enough energy so i think i'm gonna lose this matchup just kind of looking at it. It's funny that I can like a part of it is that I remember these matchups. Uh, can I get an earthquake? I'm gonna need to get an ice spear and then an earthquake. That they're gonna are they gonna power punch me? Are they gonna um I think it's gonna be close. I think they can just psychic and take me out though. Counter me. Am I gonna get the earthquake off? I do get the earthquake off. Oh, I do not. Why didn't I throw the earthquake? Do they have a shield? Why didn't I throw the Earthquake? What am I doing? What the heck was that? Why didn't I throw the Earthquake? Okay, that could have been a win. That was really dumb. That was really dumb. Okay. It's funny looking back. So good catch on the Wall here. The Wall Ring matchup against Sableye is not good because Wall Ring just outpaces and only takes two Ice Cold Spears to take you out. So I was able to catch. Fortunately, I ran straight into a Deox, but that's okay because I, as long as I dumped all the Wall Ring's energy... I can chip a bunch here and then come in Shadow Claw and potentially just, um, yeah, I can Shadow Claw down. Oh, I remember what happens. I banked a foul play. I remember this matchup because I banked a foul play. They get greedy and try and farm me down all the way. I get to an Ice Cold Spear, so they're going to have to shield now because they have a ton of energy. But then Sableye is going to win CMP against Deox because it's the defense Deox. So your attack is garbage. So I'm going to win CMP. So now they have to double shield to get a move off here. And I'll probably shield back um yeah because i have two shields and i can claw down and come out with energy for the wall rain so that is huge uh i don't think i'll double shield i think i'll let this go even if it is a thunderbolt uh i'm probably just gonna do chip damage here because it is a shadow i knew that... did i just lose count on the wall rain or am i just going what am i doing why am i banking that energy now just throw it trevenant i knew that they probably had a trevenant so now i gotta go for double psycho boost here now my attack is so much lower it's not going to take them out but now they're maybe who wins cmp versus trevenant sableye the wall range is dry because they just dumped their energy this is going to take me out i think i'm gonna have to throw right away i'm almost at two moves though so i should be able to claw and get to a foul play and take them i should have just thrown the foul play i don't know why i took that move from the i'm gonna yeah take this out here that's fine i don't know why i took that move unnecessarily i could have kept the shield thrown that move taken it out kept the shield and taken that out in the back pretty easy but made it a little more trickier there but got the win and then swamper down the lead here i think this is the last battle Swampert's a little tricky too uh just because how fast it spams like i love swamper i've used it so many times in great league and Ultra Lake for so long. It just, these Hydro Cannons just hit so hard, and the Mud Shot 
just powers up so fast. You do win this matchup, I think, as Sableye, because you can take one and they cannot take a foul play. So you can shield this up and then force either the second shield or take them out. So you have to shield up one Hydra Cannon, that's fine, I'll get to a move. So they're either going to go down here or I'm going to take them out. And they, oh, well, one claw and I take them out. So what they have left, Toxicroak, am I going to bank this move? Yeah. So I bank that move because um, it's one of those things where it's like, there's no point of throwing and they come in Skarmory, so I'm okay here. So I'm going to throw this Thunderbolt. I'm just going to put it pretty, I don't think it puts it pretty low. It's going to do okay. I may be able to mm, shield and full farm because I know they have three, four, five. Oh, just because I got double cycle boost and this is a poison and fighting. So even if I lower my attack times two, does not matter. It is double effective anyways. So this will take it out for the win. So very, very meta team with very meta results. Got me a lot of the wins back that I did not get during that. Uh, I'm filming on Monday. I think I'm at like 17, rank 17 already. Um, I'm going pretty fast. I, I, I always try to get to rank 20. I mean, I do battles every day, right? And I said, I want to try and hit legend as fast as possible. I always try and get to rank 20 as fast as possible. So I can pro hopefully get legendary encounters, especially with Mewtwo coming up soon, right? I want to be able to hopefully get them. I'm going to take Something that I haven't done is um, track all my legendary encounters, like track all my encounters when I hit level 20, because I want to see how badly they nerfed the uh, legendary encounter rate. So once I get to rank 20, I'm going to start gathering all my Pokemon encounters and, and write it down so I, so I know that. So that is it. Um, thanks for watching. Ultra League is starting on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, so it's Ultra League Open and Go Fest. Um, I'm definitely not going to have any Pokemon built up for Go Fest. I was just going through all my Pokemon. I'm going to do a recap video for Go Fest. It's either going to be, it's either happened already <laughs> if I had the editing done, or it's going to be tomorrow. Um, uh, if it's already happened, I'm going to go over sort of the top Pokemon I caught. But if you missed that video or it's not out yet, like some of them, I got a good Wormnam Trash for self tournaments and specialized cups. I've got a Tropius. I did not get a good one. It was all weather boosted. So I got like a 200 and something rank, which is not good. Um, Torkoal, unfortunately, it does not matter because I got like a super, super high rank one, but it's very, very sp spicy, not really involved. Uh, what else did I get? Pancham didn't really get anything worth noting there. Uh, there was one more Escav. I got, an, I got a rank five Ultra League Escav which is nice. Uh, so I can build that up eventually because I already have an SCAV, so I don't need to build it up immediately, but I will build, build that up eventually. And then what else was the main thing that I went after? Axes were all garbage, all garbage. Didn't even come close to it. I did so many raids too. I didn't come close to a good, I don't care. I didn't care about shinies. I did, did not get a good IV one, which was unfortunate. And then was there any other when I was going through my list of Pokemon that I was like, oh, I need to evolve this. I'm trying to think about what I focused on. Oh, uh, I did not get, I have like a 99, so it's probably gonna be like top 50 uh, A Grimer. So top 50 wasn't amazing, but I don't think I'll even have an XL candy because I think you need like 296 and I caught every Grimer I saw, but I think it's only gonna get me to like 220, 230 XLs. So anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, Ultra League and GoFest, Catch up coming up. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.